Hi, my name is John Clayton, and welcome to our video base tips, a uh, little mini lesson that I hope will help you with your love of this instrument and how to play it. Uh, I thought that we'd address how to tune our bass today. I've got my friend Dave at the piano, uh, because when you're tuning, you want to tune to, obviously, to a piano, or maybe for an orchestra, it would be an oboe, or any kind of instrument, a guitar. You, so the idea is to hear the note first, absorb that in your ear, absorb that in your body, and then play the note that you would like to tune. And so I'm going to hear the note first, from a source, then I'm going to play the note that on my bass that I'm trying to tune and try to max them up. Here's the idea. So Dave, why don't you give me a G? So you can use your hand arco or you can use the bow. I'm sorry, you can use your hand pizzicato or you can use the bow and arco. So let's just try pizzicato for now. One more time, the G. All right, here. So that doesn't sound quite right to me. I've absorbed his note, taken it in, and now it's in my body, and I play this note and match the two. Try it again. Now I'm going to just adjust until I get them close. Once again. So that's pretty close. So again, the process is hear the note first, get it in your body, kind of get it in your ear, and then play the note, the string that you're trying to tune. Let's try the D and see if we can get that. I'm just gonna, can I hear it again, please? And then let's try the A. And finally the E. And that's how I tune when I'm given a note that is the same note of the string that I'm trying to tune. It's not the only way you can tune the bass. You can also tune the bass to itself. Uh, there are different ways of doing that. Um, one might be, let's hear the, the G again, please, Dave. So first I'll tune. I'll get that. So once that G string is in tune, I can then use the G string to tune the bass to itself. Different ways of doing that. <clears throat> one way is to play the harmonic on the, the, on the tuned string of the note that you would like to tune. That makes sense? So, I'm going to play the harmonic on the string that I've got tuned. And I'm going to take that sound and match it up to the string that I'm going to tune. It goes like this. So, I've got the G string in tune, thanks to Dave. I can play this harmonic. That's a G harmonic. So, that's, that's, as you can see, that's dividing the string exactly in half. All right, so I lightly touch that string to play the harmonic. <clears throat> but instead of playing that harmonic, since I'm going to tune the D string, that's a G, I'm going to play this harmonic instead. So this was the G. Now I'm going to find this note, and I'm going to try to match this note sound to the new string. Ah, so... They sound a little different in terms of intonation. That's the note that's good. That's the note that I'm going to remember. This is the note I want to fix. That's the good one. That's the one I want to fix. Do it again. I can also play this D and match it up to the exact same octave. So it sounds like this. So I'm using the fourth finger on the harmonic D, on the G string. I'm using the first finger on this next harmonic here, right? 
and if they sound good, we're cool. After I've got that tuned up, I've got my, my G string was the tune, thanks to Dave giving me the note. Now I've got that and I took the G string and I used it to tune my D string. Now I can use my D string, which is now in tune, to tune the A string. So, to review, first I get my note, I tune the, the top string, G. Then, after I've got that string, there are different harmonics I can use. I can use this harmonic and tune, to, tune this to that, right? Or I can go, that's my good note, I can play the same octave. I can go, or I can go, so we've got all these variations and different ways of approaching tuning. With the bow, same idea. David, can I have a G again, please? So, once again. Now I can use the same method. I can now, even with the bow, which frankly I prefer using the bow because I can allow my notes to, to last a bit longer. They sing, they ring, sustain a bit longer, so that's cool. So I like to go and play that harmonic we talked about, this one right here with the fourth finger. Now I can tune my next string, remember? I can tune my next string by either using this harmonic here, or I can go to this one. And now I can hear a little difference. Ah. That's a little better. Yeah. Okay, so I've got my A. <laughs> what I'll often do is I'll just play the A with the fourth finger on the D string, and then I will go four, one, four, one. It sounds like this. I play that a few times and get that interval in my ear, and then I go 1-1, one, one, and I can hear a little difference. So that's another reason I prefer using the bow uh, for tuning, because now the notes really, really last longer and they sustain. I can play them as long as I need to. So another way of tuning, after I get my G, sometimes I'll tune in fifths. So I'll play the open string of the, of the string that's in tune, I'll play that string open, and then I will lightly touch the next string over at the halfway point. Talked about that, right? So it sounds like this, but I'll play them simultaneously. That's the tune that's in, the, that's the string that's in tune. Just listen to see if that interval sounds good. If it doesn't, then I'll change it. So those are a few different ways that you can use to tune your bass. And thank you for joining me today with my bass tips. Hi, I'm John Clayton. And I'm welcoming you today on behalf of myself and my brother, Jeff Clayton, and the entire Clayton Brothers band that consists of the fantastic trumpet player Terrell Stafford. He's so mean, I call him terrible Terrell Stafford. Uh, also, my son Gerald on piano, and the wonderful drummer who is Obed Calvert. He's so wonderful that I call him Obed Calvert. So that's the Clayton Brothers group. We have a new project that we're really excited to tell you about. We're going to actually add to the Clayton Brothers sound and create, and this is what, I mean, if I use the word exciting a lot in these next few minutes, forgive me, but I really am excited because we're going to actually create a brand new Clayton Brothers sound. We're doing so by combining and blending what we do with a couple of musicians that we absolutely adore. And we're entitling this collaboration, this whole project, The Gathering. We're gathering our friends together, we're gathering new music together, we're gathering your ideas and your resources to put this whole thing together. And uh, The Gathering is really what it's all about. 
um, the band members and myself are going to combine with two very special musicians and their names are Wycliffe Gordon, the incredible trombone player, and Stefan Harris, fantastic vibraphone player. Uh, we will do numbers with them together as well as some Clayton Brothers songs uh, with just the quintet. All of this is happening within a short amount of time. <laughs> so we're, we're busy. We're getting ready to write music right now. We're getting to, ready to start our rehearsals right now. Cool thing about it is that we're inviting you to be a part of the whole project, to be a part of the whole mm, gathering as it unfolds. So you, if you want, can feel our pain as we write our compositions. Uh, uh, have the fun with us and have the experience of discovery with us as we make arrangements and think about things and hit those walls and deal with those challenges. All of that you can be a part of if you want to. And that's one of the things I love about the Artist Share group. They allow us to invite you to be a part of this. So we're hoping that if you like the idea of this gathering and the Clayton Brothers sound coming together with these other musicians to create a brand new Clayton Brothers sound, we're hoping that you'll be interested enough to follow us along. Uh, you can find out all of the information that you need by accessing the Artist Share website. That's artistshare.com and click through until you can find out how you can participate. You can participate on different levels. So every level is going to give you different perks and we're hoping that the perks are really interesting for you. Uh, we got some brand new perks in mind that we haven't done before including uh, having you commission two of the pieces that are going to be on the recording. So all of this is ramping up to a recording and after the recording you get to also still be a part of the whole mixing process where we get all the levels just right, the mastering process which is the, something they have to do before they actually start printing, the artwork, you're part of it. So. Gone are the days when you just, you know, go online and download some songs or go online and order a CD or something like that. Now, you can really be a part of the Clayton Brothers, check out the artistic process, be a part of the artistic process, and at the end, enjoy the music that we have created for you. So check it out, artistshare.com. We'd love to have you on board, love to have you participate and at any level that's comfortable for you. Thank you so much.